It's about five minutes to four on Thursday. Look at how dead center this guy is with us. Okay, we've been here maybe 30, 45 minutes. This is not the first time this has happened. All the way at the other end of town last time. Okay. Look at that. Directly over us. And there's a guy in LA that, uh, he has in LA of all places. Okay. But here, look, there's no one else out here. Directly over you. That happened all the way at Rotary Park last year. Okay. Back and forth they went. And when we got here, within like 10 minutes, as usual, someone from way over there hopped on a John Deere. I shit you not out of the blue and just started and then circled across the bridge oh look aquatic circled across the bridge and then came all the way this way i've never seen an entire town of people up to no good i mean come on let's be real we're in a we're in a, we're in another version of las vegas it is what it is i've never seen so many people up to no good try to catch somebody for like having a couple beers or smoking a joint that's the whole dude i'm at the opposite anybody who knows the town knows where i'm at that's the avi Okay, I'm literally at the other end of the valley, the other bridge, okay? The original bridge is up by the riverside, the first casino. This is one of the last casinos to be put in, okay? So that's not the first time that happens. And also I've got another video where we're parked way down the other end la uh, last year. So it's a little different, but people will deviate off of 95 and come down here. Like that Jeep, that Jeep just took a lap. It's not everybody, but... You can pick them out when you've been watching this shit happen as long as I have. So that's that means that someone powerful in this town where I grew up and someone powerful in Anaheim where I grew up. Gee, I wonder if there's a connection there. Okay. I, I, I have something somebody wants or people, whatever, people got the wrong idea. But you can see where we're at. There's nobody else out here. It's fucking December. Look at how low the river is. And... It's not as bad as in the summertime, but when we were here in the summertime getting circled, it was COVID and the whole state was on lockdown. So much like California being on lockdown at the beach, but every walker, jogger, bicyclist, people in cars, you name it, they were outside all at once from Southern Los Angeles County all the way down to Dana Point, which is the rich area. Okay. So the coronavirus is a bunch of bullshit. It was, it is, and it always will be. Okay. You can't come, look. This is what it looked like before we got here. And then within 10 minutes, boom, this, this area picked up with traffic. I've seen a couple of the, just a couple of the same cars go back and forth. Okay. And then Mr. Fucking, I think my tractor's, tractor's sexy. As soon as we got here, dude, within 10, 10 minutes, all the way around. And then he did a U shape. Okay. And if you're watching real carefully, you can see people creep across the bridge once in a while. Okay. But this is in 39 states. All I'm missing is New England, a couple of uh, Midwestern states, Alaska, and Hawaii. Okay? And what they do is, wherever you go, I'm, gonna, I'm just going to keep repeating myself until the dumb motherfuckers in this town and in this state and in this country realize what you signed us all up for 20 years ago, 21 years ago. This is it. There's community leaders based on FEMA, based on what happened in uh, Katrina, which you know they let that shit happen. And if they let that shit happen, why wouldn't they let other natural disasters happen just so they can cinch you down more? I've driven across the country several times just these last three years, and the trail does not stop. The people behind me, the people coming from the opposite direction, it's like Pokemon Go, except it's a human game, okay? Now, people can drive down here. I'm just showing you this because the sun's, see? They just did a circle. There you go. But the wind is coming at us. There you go right there, right in front of your face, guys. So I'll stop right there. But that right there, just back and forth, wherever I'm at. And I go to the gym. I've showed you pictures across the country from Anytime Fitness, from Planet Fitness, from uh, personally owned gyms, family owned gyms, small franchises across the country. I'll go to the gym at three in the morning. I'll go to this gym at three in the morning. Then the next day I'll go to a, my gym at three in the morning. And then the next day I'll go back to the other gym. And both of those days, the same person will show up right ahead of me or right behind me at 3, 3.30 in the morning. And then the day in the middle when I went to my friend's gym, pretending to be him, someone showed up dressed identically to me at 3 in the morning. And that's all the way in North Carolina. Okay, so again, if you don't think that this has been going on, they did this in Vietnam too. They just didn't have the technology we have now. 
This is what they called community-oriented policing in Los Angeles. Gee, who comes out to bull... Who comes out... Oh, that's right. Everybody from California. So all the assholes that ruined everybody's fun in the 60s and 70s with this bullshit and all they were really doing is hippie hunting. Okay, now they're doing it all over again. So this is an entire town that watched somebody get ripped off for three years straight. Okay. Can prove that they were getting ripped off. Can prove that their identity and their medical information was getting stolen and used in emails and... Police across the country, at least eight states before I just gave up and realized nobody gave a fuck, even though it's on live camera. Uh, police in eight states have seen some of these videos, some of these evidence, uh, ev pieces of evidence that I have. Okay. Um, the DOJ. I've been approached by four U.S. Marshals in uniform in Tallahassee, Florida. So obviously if I was wanted for something, those motherfuckers would have picked me up quick, fast, and in a hurry. So if the U.S. Marshals don't pick me up, the sheriffs don't pick me up, the cops don't pick me up, okay, what the fuck are all these civilians that aren't police officers, that aren't government law enforcement, okay, what the fuck are they doing? And they're allowing that. OK, and the person who's crying foul is actually the one that started that shit. I was telling that story in another video all the fucking way down there when we were doing the, the Harley run six years ago. I never see this bitch outside of school and work the entire time I've known her. All of a sudden, boom, there she is on a Harley. She doesn't own a Harley. She doesn't ride Harleys. She doesn't have a boyfriend that has a Harley. But yet there she is where we're at a week or two later. She's all the way at the opposite end at the mall with her friends. Boom. With, within a month, I've seen her twice. That's the same person who moved in right downstairs and across from me in under two weeks. So that's three times. And that's the same person and a couple other people who got into an email address that I hadn't used since like 0405 claiming they needed to pay some bills. And here we are. Okay. So that's how stupid America is. And I can prove it. All you got to do is scroll all the way down. Okay, and start at the beginning where these videos are in Bullhead and Rancho Cucamonga, and then they spread to New Mexico, Texas, California, Northern California, Oregon, Idaho, Washington, North Dakota, South Dakota, Wyoming, so on and so forth. 39 states, guys. Open your fucking eyes. Okay? This is not okay. This is not all right. I make enough to live in a nice upscale apartment, but I can't live in a nice upscale apartment. Watch this. Watch them cross. Boom. That right there. Okay? Red and blue. See how they're bright. See how the Jeep and then those two cars are spotlessly clean, but we're in the desert. Okay. They do their car. That's how you know it's government based, government backed. Okay. Just like truck drivers. Truck drivers get one free wash every week and then they can pay on their own. But anyway, that's what happens right there. You'll get cars intersecting. Uh, bright. Watch my, see, see my body language. I'll be on a straight country road in eastern Pennsylvania and eastern New York in the farm country. Like, like this, except it's trees, okay? And I'll be going this way, and out of the middle of nowhere, a bright orange Subaru Crosstrek will hit this side as soon as I hit right here. And that's happened across the country. It happened in Reno. I got it on video. All you got to do is watch, stop opening your fucking mouth, and tell me this isn't real without doing your research. Because unless you worked at the level I worked in the government or above, you don't know what the fuck you're talking about anyway. Okay, but there you go, guys. That is across the country. Never stops. That's the new world order, and you guys are so stupid and scared and panicked because they let 9-11 happen. I mean, I watched that happen in class, and I was like, that looks exactly like a casino getting destroyed. And I was 18 years old. So, but what the fuck would I know, right? Everybody here that fucking puts their check up their nose and in their veins and fucking into the slot machines for a living and doesn't really pay attention to anything else but that tiny little world, they clearly know way more about this than I do, huh?